awareness of the notions of race came to me in various forms as an education of sorts. Representations I saw before me were of course conditioning me, conditioning my expectations of what belonged where, or who rather. From the shows I watched, through the sports heroes I adored, I rarely found there to be any representations of persons I resembled. This was true with the action figures I played with, all the princes and the kings, the mighty warriors that filled the shelves in the stores or took a life in the screen between the Saturday morning cartoons my sister and I watched were unlike me. When I would be given an action figure by my parents periodically as a gift, for one reason or another, my favorite part would be to scan the back of the marketing on the packaging to see what other heroes and villains existed in this particular world. Most of the main characters I had toys for were white He-Man types. I had fantastic stories play out with them as victors at the end of some long battle. I also had an orange A.J. Foyt race car, a favorite of mine when I was around four or five years old, but none of them looked like me. I would never have needed every hero or star to resemble me, but when almost none of them do, that stands out to you, even if you don't know the significance at that time. This had importance to me, and I wouldn't understand until much later in life. Sun Man was a black Herculean figure. Before now, I could find a clear and present hierarchy illustrated on the marketing. In this case, I did not see a white leader at the top, and I was confused. I had already been conditioned by that time to see color and status relationships. But what did that mean? How did that affect me? Being conditioned in this way, not seeing yourself or any image of people who look like you being represented in a positive, strong, or accomplished light or view is an active participant or teacher in your life. A terrible teacher, but a teacher nonetheless. When a person begins to form aspirations and view themselves, imagery is important. Kids dream of winning championships in sports and activities as a result of watching others do it and seeing how they did it and watching the journey and experience they go through while they do it. Seeing what's out there and what people are accomplishing allows a person to gravitate towards something. Seeing someone like yourself who shares some major commonality with you is especially important. To youths growing up anywhere on the face of the earth, this is especially important. When that is not present, when you do not see someone like yourself achieving and progressing through society, it affects yourself and your worldview. The experience tied to this is the feeling of being a ghost watching a world you should be living in. It's ingrained on all sides. Those experiencing it firsthand grew up not seeing themselves represented or championed in society have been affected by this just as much in different ways as the people who are actually looking at them in this way. Self-worth and value are major areas affected by this phenomenon, to be a ghost in a world that sees you. When I think about the day I got that Sun Man figure, I also have to think beyond that. Back when my parents were that age, what things they saw, what representations they witnessed resembling self or lack thereof. Such history is not that old. I can remember my awareness being shocked into life because of a toy and that still amazes me. There's no shortage of warning rendered to me by my father about how the world would view me and what pressure would unduly rest atop my head as I got older. Years and years later, around 11 years old, I'd be riding alongside my cousin and his Mustang 2.0 through the streets of Detroit as public enemy instructed that we fight the power and I would ask him, what is that power? In his own fashion, his straightforward and blunt way of putting things, he simply said, you will know when you got older. These would become some of the truest words and realest lessons I would learned in my life. And yes, it was not much longer than the rest of that summer that I would learn who or what the power is. Sun Man was my first remembered battle with that power, that power that would have me think and feel less of a citizen in my own home. If I'm not a citizen of the home I know, where could I feel a citizen to? All of these intricate considerations affect a person in their view of the world and the place in it that they have, and it's a shaping moment. Having our foundations, our understanding of self and value diminished is not a short-term disruption. It is a ripple that reverberates throughout a lifetime. This effect has a life that travels throughout generations. If your social awareness is incubated in a surrounding of bigotry and judgmental views, how can you remain unaffected? If you see me as less than you, whether it's because you were conditioned or taught this, 
What do I see when I look back at you looking at me in this way? If you look at me as a person to be fearful of, how does that reflect in your eye when I look at you? What do I see when you see me in that way? These images we see of ourselves and others like us or the absence of these images have lasting and long-term effects on our views and our relationship with the societies we find ourselves in. Be mindful.